सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट द सीरीज स्टोरीज टेल मेनी अ थिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यंग लर्नर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश एट प्राइमरी लेवल द मेजर पर्पज ऑफ दिस सीरीज इज टू प्रोवाइड एक्सपोजर टू इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज थ्रू ओरल औरल मीन्स वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज एंड आ हैप्पी लिस्निंग Stories tell many a thing. Stories for young learners of English. Hello children. Do you like to listen to stories? I know you all like stories. Stories about tiger, lion, cat, dog, kings, queens, common man, farmers, carpenters, postmen, policemen and police women. teachers and so on let's now listen to stories of various kinds stories which will make you open your mouth ah and stop your breathing for a while and make you laugh from your heart so listen to the stories and think about the ideas animals men and women in the stories and then tell your friends papa mama little sister and brother in your language and in english come on let's get into the world of stories here is an interesting story of a donkey a dog and a goat who traveled in a bus let's listen to the story to know what happens Why the donkey won't move? Not so long ago, when the animals could still speak, a donkey, a dog, and a goat were friends. They lived together in a village far away in the desert. But one day, they decided to go and live in the city. They thought that life in the village was dull and they wanted to have some fun. They got up early in the morning, long before the herdsman was awake, and went to wait at the side of the road under a big thorny tree. Soon a bus appeared and stopped for them. Where are you going? asked the conductor. We're, We're going, going to, to the, the city. city. They replied, "Will you take us?" "Will you take us?" "Yes, of course," he said. "Get in." It was a long way to the city, and the three friends soon fell asleep. But after a while the conductor woke them up. Ticket please. Ticket please. He said going to each of the passengers on the bus. Donkey paid his money and took his ticket. Dog paid his fare but he paid too much and the conductor did not have any change i will give you your change when we reach the city he told dog goat did not have any money at all but she did not tell the conductor i will pay you later When we get to the city, she said. After a long time, the journey ended. As soon as the bus stopped at the station, Goat jumped out and ran away. The conductor was very angry. I will not. Give you your change," he told Dog. "I will use it to pay for Goat's fare." 
But dog wanted his money and barked loudly at the conductor. Bow, wow, wow, bow, wow, wow. Donkey climbed out of the bus slowly. He was not interested in the argument because he knew that he had paid his fare. And that is why even today when a bus passes through a village in their area, the goats run away from it. <laughs> They are afraid because they know that Goat did not pay for her trip to the city. The dogs bark at the bus bow, wow, bow, wow, because they are still waiting for the change that the conductor did not give dog. But the donkeys take no notice of the bus and stand in the middle of the road right in front of it. Hee-haw! 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 They know that long ago, Donkey paid his fare, so they are not afraid of any bus. You must have travelled in a bus. What does the conductor do? How does he mark the ticket which he gives to every passenger? If you meet any conductor again, do ask these questions. Now, listen to the story again, this time by closing your eyes and listen. Not so long ago, when the animals could still speak, a donkey, a dog and a goat were friends. They lived together in a village far away in the desert. But one day, they decided to go and live in the city. They thought that life in the village was dull and they wanted to have some fun. They got up early in the morning, long before the herdsman was awake, and went to wait at the side of the road under a big thorny tree. Soon a bus appeared and stopped for them. Where are you going? asked the conductor. We are going to the city, they replied. Will you take us? Yes, of course, he said. Get in. It was a long way to the city and the three friends soon fell asleep. But after a while, the conductor woke them up. Ticket, please, he said, going to each of the passengers on the bus. Donkey paid his money and took his ticket. Dog paid his fare, but he paid too much and the conductor did not have any change. I will give you your change when we reach the city, he told Dog. Goat did not have any money at all, but she did not tell the conductor. I will pay you later when we get to the city, she said. After a long time, the journey ended. As soon as the bus stopped at the station, Goat jumped out and ran away. The conductor was very angry. I will not give you your change, he told Dog. I will use it to pay for Goat's fare. But Dog wanted his money and barked loudly at the conductor. Donkey climbed out of the bus slowly. He was not interested in the argument because he knew that he had paid his fare. And that is why even today, when a bus passes through a village in their area, the goats run away from it. They are afraid because they know that goat did not pay for her trip to the city. The dogs bark at the bus because they are still waiting for the change and the conductor did not give dog. But the donkeys take no notice of the bus and stand in the middle of the road, right in front of it. They know that long ago, Donkey paid his fare, so they are not afraid of any bus. Why the donkey won't move? Friends, you were just listening to this program. Concept and Academic Coordination, Dr. R. Meghanathan. Artists, 
Parvati Poddar and Rajeshri Trivedi. Recorded by Buddy Langlingdo. Guidance Ajit Horo. Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. This program is brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi.